Hello Scorpio. Welcome to your 2017 forecast. The very big news for you this year is that on October the 10th, Jupiter, the planet that rules abundance, good fortune, prosperity, expansion and growth, is going to come into your sign, where it will stay for a whole year until October of 2018. But more about that a little later. Just to let you know, the important dates that I'm going to mention will appear at the end of this video. So do relax and enjoy. Now you may feel as though the year gets off to a bit of a sluggish start, simply because Mercury, the planet that rules communication, technology, transportation, is retrograde until the 9th of the month. So it could take a good couple of weeks before you really feel as though you're getting more into a flow. So don't be concerned about it. Just relax, release, reflect, reassess everything and know that everything will begin to move forward just in its own time. There's no pushing it. So this first Mercury retrograde until the 9th is here with Saturn in your second house and Saturn in your second house all year until the 20th of December. So really it's going to be a very important time over this holiday period until the middle of January to reflect about your finances, your money, how you spend money, how you save money, how you think about money. Do you think you can have it easily? Do you think you can just open your arms and notice the abundance around you and just have things flow more easily to you? This is going to give you an opportunity to really work on your values and what's important to you and maybe to change that flow if it's all been going out, maybe you can change the flow and have a lot more coming in again. That's what that Mercury Retro is going to help you to do. Now the eclipses this year are in February and August. The first one, a lunar eclipse on February the 10th, is happening right up here in your 10th house of career, of work. Keep in mind that the eclipses, the energy of the eclipses lasts for up to uh, six months afterwards, if not longer. So this is shining a light on your work area. Very often a lunar eclipse, Scorpio, can bring a lot of changes in your work, in your career. You might change location. You might change what you're doing. But it, above all, it's shining a light on that career work area. And if you haven't got a career or work, it's, it's giving you an opportunity to look at, well, what direction do I want to take my life in? What is important for me now? And those may be all the kinds of questions that are coming up for you around that time, starting February 10th. On February the 26th, we've got a solar eclipse happening here in your fifth house. Wonderful solar eclipse joining Neptune there. This is wonderful for creativity. New bursts of creative energy. Some of you might get pregnant. Some of you might have uh, experiences with children, with young people. It's a wonderful time for getting in touch with the child within you. An opportunity to be more playful, to do more things that are hobbies, things that you enjoy, and then maybe translate them into something that can bring you some extra money as well. This is just a beautiful aspect for finding that originality within you. It's sparking it, it's bringing it out, and it's going to be very inspirational for you. And of course, in that fifth house, it can certainly bring you a new romance. Somebody coming into your life that just brightens your day and your world. Important thing we've got this year is that Venus, ruling your relationships and your money, goes retrograde from March 6th until April 15th. Retrograde here in your 6th house and then back into your 5th house. So, 
What this means, especially with it going back into the fifth, is that it's not a brilliant time, just for those few weeks, to get into a new relationship. If you do find yourself getting into a new relationship at that time, try to go slowly. Because sometimes when Venus goes direct, you, you wonder what you saw in that person in the first place, or it's disappointing, or something, something is not quite as it seemed. So just try to hang in there. Venus retrograde gives you an opportunity to reassess your finances and your relationships. But as it's going to be retrograde in your sixth house as well, Scorpio, this is going to be an important time to look at how much joy am I getting from my work? How much pleasure is it bringing me? Am I waking up in the morning feeling excited? Or am I feeling, oh, I'm doing a lot of things that I'm not enjoying? So this Venus retrograde, when it's there for those few weeks, is going to really trigger you uh, to give you an opportunity to reassess and to look at the work area and to see how much more joy and pleasure you can bring into it and maybe with the lunar eclipse there there may be some changes that need to be made in order to accomplish that. We've got another Mercury retrograde from April 9th until May 3rd happening here in your 7th to your 6th house. So an opportunity there for you Scorpios to reflect on relationships. It might be an important time really to really listen to somebody, have a, a really deep conversation where you really pay attention and you release all your reactions to what's being said and you just really allow somebody to speak and you may find you can reignite a relationship. <coughs> Excuse me. And then with it going into the sixth house, an opportunity to reassess work and maybe to um, look at your workload. Maybe you've taken on too much. Maybe it's time to retract some of it and to make some new agreements once Mercury goes direct on May 3rd. On August the 7th, we have got a lunar eclipse happening here in Aquarius in your fourth house. We've got this 10th and 4th houses being activated a lot this year. So chances are there's gonna be some changes with your home environment. You might move, you might have uh, different responsibilities for family. It may be a question of balancing work and family in some way and finding a, a satisfactory balance for yourself. But certainly this lunar eclipse from August the 7th is going to rumble around some changes in your home environment in some way. Maybe you'll stop going out to work your work from home or vice versa changes. And keep in mind it is for up to six months or even longer afterwards. August the 12th to September 5th we've got yet another Mercury retrograde going from your 11th to your 10th back into this 10th house again. So an opportunity to reflect on friends, the people around you. Are you surrounded with people who are uplifting, who make you feel great? Or are you feeling just a little way down? Or do you just need a change of scene. And then when it goes back into this 10th house, an opportunity to reflect upon your career, upon your life direction generally, and really maybe to um, see what needs to be reassessed so that you can then, when Mercury goes direct on September 5th, begin to move forward with more confidence once again. August the 25th, we've got a solar eclipse happening up in this 10th house of career again. New beginnings. So something coming to light in February and an opportunity for the new beginnings in August onwards. Maybe a new job, maybe a new opportunity, maybe a move with work. It's just going to open up for you from August onwards. Until October the 10th, we've got Jupiter here in this 12th house, encouraging you to develop your spiritual side, to go deeply within, to meditate, to be quiet, to get your own answers, and not necessarily look outside yourself for the answers, because Scorpio, you like to be in control of your life. You like to feel as though you're in charge. 
And so by delving with this Jupiter, you're going to get a lot of profound answers and information that will help you all year long. And then, da -da -da -da, Jupiter on the 11th of October going into your first house. And this is the beginning of a 12-year cycle, Scorpios. A time of expanding, of growing, of learning. You might find yourself traveling. You might find yourself uh, taking on a new career. You might meet a partner from overseas. You might start a new business. There are going to be many opportunities coming to you. And it's going to be up to you as to whether you take the risk and whether you move forward into something new that may feel a little uncomfortable initially, but will be wonderful for you in the longer run. And the final Mercury retrograde from December 3rd to 22nd, I've lost Mercury, he's been wandering around so many times here, is back here in this second house of money. So the year begins with an evaluation of money and it closes with a re-evaluation of finance, money, valuing yourself, your self-confidence, your self-worth. And on December 20th, Saturn moves out of this second house and into your third house, giving you a wonderful opportunity to restructure your mind, your thinking process. Are you thinking abundantly? Are you appreciating? Are you drawing the wealth, not only of money, but of people and of wonderful, uh, enriching work into your life? Or are you pulling yourself down from time to time with certain thinking patterns? This Saturn energy will give you an opportunity, if you like, to reconstruct your brain and really to develop powerfully positive patterns of thinking that can really uplift you in every area of your life. For those of you looking to publish, to get information out there and to study something seriously, this Saturn will also help you to do that too. So there you have it, my lovely Scorpios. Exciting times ahead, especially with your Jupiter return coming up this year. And um, I just want to thank so many of you for being so loving, so caring, for encouraging me, for being so supportive. Maybe you'd like to consider, as this is a celebration time of year for many, you might like to consider having a painting designed especially for you, based upon your astrological aspects. Or maybe you'd like to get one as a present for somebody, as a unique, original, gift. Because of course, nobody's got the exact same chart as you have. Thank you. Thank you. Wishing you a wonderful year ahead. From my heart to yours.